This week on Fishing and Adventure, we're out from Northland targeting swordfish and we're hooked up to an absolute monster. <laughs> Get into him, Scotty! <laughs> With this season's weather being one of the most unpredictable we've ever experienced, the days available to get out wide to target game fish were few and far between. Although a good five hours drive from our home base, the far north has direct access to some of the world's best game fishing grounds, and the deep water is relatively easily accessed by trailer boat. With that in mind, we made the journey to Doubtless Bay to head out wide in search of one species we've had success hooking, but still not managed to land. Taipa has an all-tide concrete ramp, but be aware of the strong tidal flow when launching and retrieving. Well, usually a mission like this would require a little bit of planning, but um, wasn't the case. Bit of a weather window, decided to make the last minute call to head up to the far north. That's right, target species is the mighty broadbill swordfish. It's a fish we've been trying to tick off for the last few years. Absolutely. Well, let's get around this corner, mate. Hammer down, out to the swordfish grounds. Oh, so exciting. This week's challenge fish is a joint challenge to land a broadbill swordfish. The swordfish would arguably be the pinnacle of all game fish, and these are in no way related to a marlin or any other billfish, and they are the sole member of their species. During the day, the swordfish lives and predates in extremely deep water, usually between 450 and 500 metres. At night, they move up the water column to feed and are often more active. All right, swordfish time. And the Ray Marine is delivering us the goods with regards to sign. Looks like we've got a whole lot of bait stacking up around that 300 metre mark. We're sitting in 450 metres or 470 metres of water. A lot of bait, which is cool. So we're going to hopefully drop our rig to the bottom, bring it up to where that bait is holding. Wait for a big old swordfish to come along. This is very exciting. Mate, Mick, check out the sign. Man, they're stacking up nice. Exactly what you need to look for when you're coming out in these uh, deeper areas is you're looking for the bait. And where there's the bait, there's the predatory fish around it. So let's get that bait in that the water. Swordfish. She's super deep water, so we have to get down there somehow. And this is the uh, thing that's going to do the damage. Just a big steel, old steel axle out of the stock car, actually, that broke off. But um, it's got a hook on there. When you hit the bottom, it comes up, falls off, and your bait's left down there. We've got a bullet tuna there. It's just from Top Catch. It's a nice, small, little, slender bait onto a recurve hook. That's just hooked through the eyes, onto the hook. Squid skirt sitting down on top of that. It's a nice Lumo squid skirt. Onto our trace. Our first light, probably a metre or a metre and a half up. Onto a second light, it's a bit further up than that. 37 kilo swivel, but another big light on there as well. Being very deep, lights attract the fish. And then we've got a wind-on leader, 200 pound, running all the way back on. Wind-on leader obviously giving you that abrasion resistance, but also allowing you to wind it up through the guides when you get the, get the fish boat side. And then we've got the beast of a combo to deal to the swordfish, hopefully. Pretty excited to use this thing, Mick. The old Makara 50 wide. We've got 60 kilo top shot on there and down to our 37 kilo braid under that, which you'll see as we let it out. That's onto the composite developments, 37 kilo Titan deep drop rod. This is designed for this sort of fishing. So we've got all the gears. Hey, <laughs> Now he's got to put that bait in front of the swordfish and uh, do the rest. Get it down there. Hook him up, Mickey. One of the reasons the swordfish can function at such depths is due to special organs that heat up their brain and eyes, improving their vision and their ability to catch prey. Although we haven't had a lot of experience with this style of fishing, a couple of years ago we were fortunate enough to hook a swordfish on our very first trip out targeting them. What is oh, there it? Is. What is it? Oh, it's a sword! 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 Easily the most exciting moment of our fishing career to date, and we experienced firsthand the raw power and aggression of the ocean gladiator. No, 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 hang on. Oh! <laughs> On this day, we were definitely underprepared with regards to landing the beast, so it was a case of having to tie the fish out, and we had it boat side three times before we unfortunately pulled the hook. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. oh yep, yeah, there is some load. He's taken all that line. Here he goes, here he goes! It's, a oh! Oh! it's a deep drop mission out from Doubtless Bay, and we're out targeting our nemesis and challenge fish, the broadbill swordfish. 
After marking some huge bait schools in 450 metres of water, we've now dropped our bait to the strike zone, and it looks as if we've got an inquiry from what we're hoping is a target species. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. that was a genuine bite. 100% bite. How's the jam going, mate? That's good. <laughs> Just giving it a jam. Just making French toast in the cabin and... Uh... Oh, yep. it's a 100% bite. Oh, Come on. Oh, my gosh. This could be a sword. This, to be fair, we haven't done this a lot, so uh, we're not quite sure 100%. Oh, yeah, that's a bite. That's a bite. That's a bite. He's on now. He's on now. Let him go. Let him go. Oh, yeah, boys. Let that drag go off a bit. Yep, yeah, yeah, yes, we're, we're tight. We're tight. Whoa, we're tight. Can we get that, um... Yeah, we're tight, boys. Whoa! Yeah. OK, it's got to get me the harness. Just take your time, mate. Just, just, just wait. Just let it leave in the right order for now. Let's let them load up. Load it up? Yeah, it's loaded Pulling. up. Just let it, let it like fully load up. That circle hook needs to roll in. Hopefully it's done that. Yeah. Right, just hold it there, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy yes. Oh, yes. This is a joint challenge, remember, Mick? Yeah. <laughs> What's happening here? Not a lot. Nothing. Has he spat it? Uh. Spat it. No, it was just that weight. Bait's gone. Bugger. Bugger. I reckon that was a sword, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Ooh, that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that weight was just... The weight was... Because we've got this little weight at the top there. So that was just enough. Oh, this one here, that was probably what... Mick didn't think he could feel that, but it was, yeah, it's not a lot of weight, to be fair, so... We thought the sword was swimming up, but I think he pulled it. Never actually came up tight. Wonder whether he needed a bit less drag, eh? It's hard it was to quite know, tight, it? though, for that hookup. Yeah. Needed to let him run with it a bit more, maybe. Who knows? It's not Australian running for snapper, it's, uh, Fishing for broadbill swordfish, so... Oh, well, bring it back up and go back down again, I guess. It's definitely a waiting game, and everyone's eyes are fixed on the rod tip, as what would look like nothing more than a snapper bite could potentially be a 300 kilo sword whacking the bait before swallowing it. Oh, 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 oh. Absolute 100%. I was just watching that. That was going tight for a second, eh? They went tight for a second before that bite happened, so he might already be on. Washing these rod tips like a hawk, eh? Yeah. Possible another touch there. But you see, one of the major advantages of a bent butt rod is that we got the line, the rod basically horizontal out here which means you can just sit in the rod holder, let it do its thing. And you're always fighting these fish down below. They're not up on the surface. Well, they do come to the surface, but when they're fighting down like that, as you'll see when we hook one in a minute, the, uh, that's where the bent butt is essential. It does look like something's going on there, eh? Do I let it, do I let some line out and let him take it? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I'm no, used to no. snapper fishing. Just let him recurve, let, let him recurve to it. Yeah, she's loading. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're definitely tight. We're 100% tight. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's a fish on there, boys. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, yeah, look at that load. Here we go. I mean, he's starting to come up with this. Oh, yep, yeah, there is some load. There's a fish there. Boys, it's a fish. Woohoo! We're good. You got that one, Ben? Right. Okay, we're good. Oh, there's some weight there. Holy crap, there's some weight there, boys. <laughs> now he's going. Now we're going. All right. Is he going to go, 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 or is he just going to sit like that for a bit? Getting a good line back now as he's coming up, I think. Pretty confident this is a swordfish. Those bites are swordfish bites, like we, like we said earlier. With, they were coming in, we had some knocks on the bait. Nothing, 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 nothing. All of a sudden, the weight came on. It's coming up, it's coming up. Oh! Ooh, here he goes. Didn't like that. Okay, here he goes. It's gonna make me work for it. Not a gem fish, it's no, not a... We've cancelled out the fact that it could have just been a dead weight coming up. Well, it seems as if that circle hook's done its job and hopefully rolled into the corner of the fish's mouth. Being a circle hook. Hopefully it's gonna stay in there. Now it might look like I'm just relaxing when it's taking line, which 
to a degree I am, but I'm ready at any stage to start winding as soon as he stops because always want to have that bend in the rod, always want that line tight. He's taking all that line. All right, we're down to the braid again. That's the game we play. Bullet tuna, man, that's so cool. They're just these little baits from, baits from Top Catch. Bullet tuna, 2kg. Look at that. It's a lollipop for any fish. During the season so far, we've caught some of our biggest snapper, kingfish, multiple fish on these bullet tuna. Just a big fish bait, and it seems to be the case today too. He's just going to keep on putting in a mean... He's hooked in the mouth too, eh? So yeah. it's, not, it's yeah. not coming up backwards, it's not... Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's giving us 100%. Yeah, this is going to be a full-on gladiator fight, this one. Yep. Got the gladiator combo, got the gladiator boat. Yeah. I'm not so gladiator angler. Hey, 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 hey come uh... on now. <laughs> they call me Russell Crowe. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Because you Ooh. like throwing stuff around in hotel rooms or what? <laughs> Getting into fights with people. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Australian. May I raise the point if this is a swordfish and we land it, Mick? Yep. That's the challenge. That's the challenge fish. It's a team challenge. Yeah. Because this is a team fish. So, if we don't land this fish, everybody, including the underwater cameraman and the cameraman, yep. on the consequence. Yep, that's right, boys. She's a, she's a goody, good consequence, too. Yeah, but it's a team challenge because it takes teamwork to land a fish like that. Everyone needs to be able to pull together from the dropping of the bait, rigging of the bait, dropping of them, getting a holding over the sign. Keeping making, them. making French toast. <laughs> French toast was the dinner bell, mate. It was, wasn't it? He's definitely thrashing around a bit more now, hoping it's not a ta shark's tail beats. Get ready, boys. Here he goes, here he goes! Yeah, it's just a oh! 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 It's a big oh! one! Holy it's shit! It's huge! Holy oh! shit! <laughs> that thing was massive! <laughs> Oh, um, boys, we've hooked ourselves a dinosaur! <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness! colours on that Did you fish, see man. that? Did you see that? <laughs> OK, oh. boys, it's a sword. It's a big one. OK, OK, you right, Mick? You right, <laughs> You right, Mick? Oh, having trouble. Ben. Having trouble. All right. It's obviously a massive swordfish. Oh. <laughs> wow! Holy crap, Mick. What have we got ourselves in for now? Oh, no. <laughs> Sun's going down. No, nah, we've got a bit of time. We've got time. Targeting game fish and big fish, an extremely essential piece of kit is a good harness. And there are none better than this. Equalizer harness from Black Magic. Used worldwide. They have all the best clips, connections. Got the seat here, which takes all that weight off, or most of that weight off the angler, putting a little bit more weight into the rod and allows you to use your legs as opposed to your back and your arms to fight the fish. These fights can go on for sometimes five or six hours, and you don't want to be doing that with a substandard bit of kit. So a top quality harness is essential for fighting and landing those big game fish. Watch out, wait, 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 wait. Just go forward, just go forward. Yeah. Oh, 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 what a fish. It's a deep drop mission out from Doubtless Bay and the joint challenge is set to land a broadbill swordfish. After a solid bite, we failed to come up tight on our first drop, but have since hooked an absolute monster of a fish. The sword has been taking line at will, but we've finally got some back, and the beast is close to the boat. He's coming right up, is he? What's happened? What's happened? Ben, go! Watch out, wait, 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 wait. That sinker should come off in a sec. Yeah. Yeah, just go forward, just go forward. Yeah. Just keep at the helm, though, Ben. Pull it down, Mick. I can't go past that light. That's it. We're here. Oh, no, there he goes. He's off. Ooh, guitar strings. <laughs> guitar strings. <laughs> OK. To be able to come and do this in a trailer boat is just pretty special. And 
We're not even that far off the coast. Oh, you are kidding me. The hook just pulled. Oh, oh no. What the hell happened? Still got some weight on there? No, nah, there's no weight. Just pulled the hook. Oh, that, that is heartbreaking. Here's the remnants of the bait. The bullet tuna. Unfortunately, that circle hook didn't stay in. We've done all the hard work. Fought them for over an hour and a half. If anything's going to find a weak spot, it's a swordfish. And uh, there weren't any weak spots, just the hook pulled. That's the way it goes, I guess. Even that big recurve couldn't stay in there. Don't have a lot of luck for these swordfish, do we? Oh, no. Well, we get luck in hooking them, I guess. We shouldn't complain. No, it's uh, still oh. another awesome experience, that's for sure. That was a huge fish, eh? It was a huge fish. That was a frickin' animal, that thing. And we got him close to the boat once, and then he was so green. But yeah, he's coming up that time too. Yeah. I had a shot at him, but you never know. Just must have worn a hole on the side of his mouth, and then out it came. Yeah. He earned his freedom, I guess. He they, fought hard. Yeah, they do have a reasonably soft mouth, so yeah. when it comes to that hook being in there for over an hour, that hole just opens up. It just takes a little pop like that, and it can come out. So. Yeah, there was weight on the line the whole time. It just must have literally just ripped out. Yeah. Easily done. It's just one of those things. Yeah, it's fishing. <laughs> How big that sword was, we'll never know. And although it's extremely gutting to lose it, there's no point in dwelling on the past. The call was made to do one last drop to see if we couldn't manage to finally break the hoodoo and land that extremely challenging challenge fish. Before long, we had another inquiry on the bait from hopefully another monster of the deep. Potential sword on the bait here again. Well, we're hooked up on something. There's squid around, there's all sorts around, all seems to be going on, going off. As it starts going dark, all the other predators, the sharks, a few of those other deep dwellers, swim up in the water column and come out there to prey on what's left after the day, so could be anything. Oh, what the hell is it? No, what is this? It's not a shark. Escala? Whoa! 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 What a fish! Get the gaff! Whoa! Something from the depths, an oil fish or an escala, we're not actually too sure. We'll just gaff this guy in the mouth, because we don't have to know what he is. We'll just double check. Might be able to let him go if he's not a nice eater. Hey, it's hold him there, hold him there, hold him there. Oh, 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 okay. okay. Step back, Mick, step back. Step back, step back. Yeah, big teeth, we'll get him in. Drag him in? Yeah, drag him in. Bring him in the deck. One, two, three. three. You all right? Oh, what a oh. fish! Oh. 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 He's going crazy! Hey. <laughs> oh. Easy, mate, easy. Down there. Look at his eyes! Yes, a monster of the deep! He's got scales like, bloody, like a reptile, they're like sharp! Don't touch him, boys. If you ain't got gloves on, don't touch him. Holy hell! Man alive! And that's what you get at night. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely swallowed that down. Yeah. Oh, oh. Fortunate, isn't it? Whoa, what a fish. Man, the fish two fish we've hooked today have been absolute bloody gladiators. Yeah. One's a gladiator, one's a dinosaur. Reptile frickin'. Who knows, but. Whatever it is. That's awesome. I know it's only television, not feelovision, but. <laughs> feelovision. It is literally like a reptile, like Scott said before. That's a big fish. Those razor sharp teeth have made short work of that trace. What a seriously cool fish, mate. Yeah, he's awesome, eh? Look at those teeth. And those scales are just something we've never seen before in the fish. Glowing eye. And it, we looked these up and they call them a snake mackerel with uh, two types, an oil fish and an escalar. We believe this one's an oil fish. But both very similar. Yep. Taste absolutely beautiful. One yeah. of the best in the sea. Except uh, if you do eat them, or too much of them, you're going to probably end up uh, heading to the old toilet. Chronic diarrhea. So, uh, that sounds like a consequence, but no. <laughs> what a cool fish. That's, uh, yeah, that's definitely made up for the dropping that swordfish almost. But, um, yes. Man. What a cool fish. Anyway, 
It's well and truly dark now. I think we're probably done for the day as far as dropping baits go. But yeah, two swordfish hooked, which is pretty cool. But unfortunately, we didn't manage to land any. Yeah, it's a bloody wicked day, though. Yeah. So um, anyway, into the cabin. Back for the consequence. We'll catch you next week. The next day, we filleted up the oil fish, and the result was a beautiful white flesh with an obvious marbling effect from the oil. One of the reasons the fish tastes so good is due to a high wax content, which the fish can't naturally process. This also results in having a negative effect on your system if you are to eat too much. If you keep your portions to under 170 grams, you'll be sweet as, and it's well worth it, as the oil fish tastes absolutely amazing. Ah, consequence time. Damn that swordfish, Mick. I know. Oh, we were close. It's a double consequence this week. Oh, we are close. Yeah, isn't losing a fish consequence enough? Oh, I know. A fish of that. Should be. Should rub salt on the wound. Yep. Oh. Of salt on the wound. We've got a bit of salt ice coming down the wound. Over the pants, boys. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Ready and waiting, Ben. Got to get the pose, eh, to open up the pant. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh